Hello, my name is Samuel Scroggs, and in today's lesson we will be talking about how to set up the catapult for the Seastral Bromor PPX. Shown here is the partially assembled catapult. As a review, be sure you can identify the items listed in Bromor PPX Tutorial 2 which is linked in the description. Furthermore, you should be able to identify the two locks on the catapult rail, the catapult legs, the trolley, the safety pin, the elastic bungees, the U-shackle, the pulleys, the leg plate, the winch and the winch rope, as well as the brake line which is circled in red. On your own time, we recommend that you pause the video and study this complete catapult diagram as well. Before taking the catapult out of its case, consider these best practices. First, the elastic bungee should always be clear of the trolley when the catapult is in its case. Failure to maintain clearance of the trolley can lead to damage of the elastic bungees. Second, this process is best performed with two people as to not damage the unit. Having a partner perform this process with you will reduce the likelihood of an accident. To take the catapult out of its case, one partner should grab onto either end of the catapult, one near the middle lock and the other near the leg plate. The catapult should then be set down on the leg plate. Now we are going to unfold the catapult and extend the legs. Before we do this, make sure that the blue safety pin has been removed and that the red elastic bungees are clear of the section of rail that is about to be unfolded. Then you simply unfold the catapult until the two halves of the rail align. Make sure to engage the middle lock before moving on. Then pull the legs out and engage the safety lock, but make sure not to force it as bending will occur. Next, unroll the winch cable so that the elastic bungees reach near the pulley. To do this, loosen the winch handle, depress the comma-shaped lever that is below the handle to unlock the cable, and then fully unroll the cable by pulling it out. Check that the cable is fully unrolled, then screw the winch handle back into place until it clicks. Some safe practices to follow while unrolling the winch cable are to have a partner hold the winch handle while you unroll the cable to avoid being struck by it and to make sure that you reinsert the blue catapult safety pin before moving on. Next, attach the elastic bungees to the catapult pulley. In order to do so properly, we recommend that two people order the bungees. To order the bungees, lay them out under the catapult rail and check where they are connected in reference to the trolley. When doing so, inspect the U-shackle to make sure that none of the bungees overlap. At the same time, make sure that the wench cord is coming out of the top part of the U-shackle not falling behind the bungee cords. Lastly, have each partner brace one of the catapult legs with their dominant foot. If a third partner is present, have them step on the leg plate, making sure not to touch the trolley. To begin attaching the bungees to the respective catapult pulleys, one partner will grab the innermost bungee from a quarter of the way down and pull it forward around its respective catapult pulley. This should be done while bracing near the legs and safety lock at the front of the catapult with their non-dominant hand. Make sure to never brace the top of the catapult as to avoid severe injury in case the trolley is activated. The other partner will now have to do exactly the same thing on their side of the catapult. With the bungee attached to the catapult pulley on each side, it will now be slightly more difficult to determine the proper order of the bungees as they will have twisted underneath the catapult rail. To determine which bungee goes next, you can look again at where the bungees are attached to the trolley and work from the inwardmost bungee out or at the U-shackle, work your way outward in. The partners will now take turns putting one bungee on their side on by grabbing a quarter of the way down and pulling forward while bracing the front of the catapult until all of the bungees are attached. Finally, go back and make sure that all the bungees are in the correct order. This is done by checking underneath the catapult at the front near the U-shackle, making sure that the order of the bungees is the same on top as it is on bottom. It is also important to make sure that the bungees do not intersect at the point they connect to the trolley. Note that it is good safety practice to have each partner do a check of both sides of the catapult, as it is imperative that it is not armed with the improper bungee order. You should now be able to unpack the catapult for the Seastral Bromor PPX. For more complex training material, refer to the YouTube channel linked in the description below. Thank you.